today on the 27th of April. Today's Wednesday, and it's an A day. So we'll start announcements off like we do every day on the live versions with the Pledge of Allegiance, which is I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just as a friendly reminder, can I see some can I see some more people? Cameras on, please. Um, on to the announcements. First and foremost, again, today's an A day. Prom attire still outside of room 112. Prom tickets are still on sale at the end of the day, $20 a piece. Uh, they'll also be for purchase at the door at prom. Bowling is having their meeting tomorrow at 315 in Mr. Ficken's room, 155. That's for anybody who's interested in doing bowling next school year. The art show is still going on till Friday, which means I'm going to try and slink by there finally today after school. Uh, and we we announced the, the winners yesterday. Great stuff. Special shout out to Courtney Willis. After all, she's one of our students here at WASH uh, and was one of our People's Choice winners. Decision day for our seniors is May 2nd. Ms. Mangridge will be in the main foyer during passing time with a banner for everyone to sign their post-secondary plans. Make sure you see her before May 2nd. Please and thank you. Uh, this is the last week to order the yearbook as well. So this is really important for seniors, but everybody. The books will arrive in the fall, but the only way to make sure you have one reserved is to order it this week. Uh, additionally, we'll be reaching out to any senior uh, from whom we still need a senior portrait. We will use the latest Life Touch school ID photo, which you might not want if you did not submit one. Uh, it says, for some of y'all, that might be sophomore year. So unless you want to look like you did on your sophomore swag, you may want to make sure you get that photo in. Senior Rec Night is taking place on May 2nd. That'll be at 6 p.m. at night. And if you are a senior who's being recognized, or if you're not sure, check your email because that will tell you if you're being recognized. That'll be coming from Ms. Simone Green. Senate is hosting a dodgeball tournament on May 7th. There'll be teams of six, registration fee is 20 bucks, and all proceeds will go to the charity of the winning team's choosing. How nice. Uh, sign up using the posters around school. They got the little QR code on them, and I think a little tiny URL as well. Applications for Senate are also open for next year's Senate class. This is a co-curricular class that puts on events and fundraisers for WHS and the community while also helping to grow your leadership skills. Application forms are due to Mr. Logeman. He's in room 148, and apps are due on May 9th. Elections will be held also for next year. That'll take place on the 20th of May. And if you're a current freshman through junior who's interested in running for president, VP, secretary, or treasurer, you need to pick up an intent to run petition form and the teacher recommendation form from Mr. Logeman in room 148. So if you want to do Senate, or be a class officer, you need to stop by Logeman's room. This is for our freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, which will be our rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors next year. Take Charge is hosting their Choose Your Cause kite decorating event this Friday right after school in room 116. You are encouraged to take, take charge of what's important to you. For example, organ donation, anti-vaping. All are welcome. Black Lives Matter. Child abuse prevention. Any of those topics can be on your kite. Supplies will be provided, but they will also be limited. Uh, we'll fly the kites in the, if the weather cooperates and you can take it home. If you can, I mean, you can still take it home and fly when it's a nicer day. Softball will start on May 2nd. So if you plan on it playing softball this year, make sure you've signed up. And you have. if you have any questions, you've seen Coach Sells in the activities office. I had our announcements on Monday. Uh, oh, Lost and Found is, is in the main office. So if you've misplaced your jacket or coat, make sure you stop by there and see if it's there. Golf results are as follows. It says the Warrior Varsity women's golf team had an outstanding day yesterday, placing fourth in the 14-team Linmar Spring Classic, which featured some of the top-ranked teams in Iowa. Pleasant Valley won the meet with WDM Valley second, and the Warriors tied Bettendorf third 
but we lost the tiebreaker to finish fourth, still beating a couple teams that had been ranked ahead of Wash. Maya uh, was our KCRG Athlete of the Week nominee, and she fired in 82, finished seventh out of 83 girls playing. Uh, freshman Jane Peterson posted in 84, placed 10th, and Grace Conley shot a 101 with Mackenzie Parks with a 102. Lydia Jackson and Allie Hayes shot a 108, and our Warriors are 22-4 and four on the season. Washington's girls JV reserved feet of Prairie and Gardner, 236-234, or I'm sorry, 236-243. Mickey Bozier was our, our top dog with 57. Um, and Evie Deal and Chloe Armin also threw in 58 and 59. And Jaden Toman had a 62. Um, so congratulations to all our golfers. Now, since I have messed up numerous times, we put a name on the bottom there. I've been getting emails from Ms. Farley. Thank you, Ms. Farley, for all you do. Uh, we have been cheated out of some of the vocal stylings of our, our uh, guest presenter this week, Dorian McCall. So I'm going to play that at this time and then we'll go over our last events. Let's see if I can do this right. Tried to make it more concise this time. Boom, here we go. Hey, me again. Yeah, still here until April 29th. Uh, this is from Little Shop of Hey, me again. Yeah, still here until April 29th. Uh, this is from Little Shop of Horrors. It's a movie that has been remade multiple times in the 1900s, most recently uh, 1985. And it's one of my favorites and it's been on and off Broadway and I love singing this. Oh, right, singing. That's what I'm here to do, uh, to a plant that may or may not grow up to take over the world. I've given you southern exposure to get you to thrive. I've pitched you back hard like I'm supposed to. You're barely alive. I tried you at levels of moisture from desert to mud. I've given you chromites and mineral supplements. What do you want from me, blood? Oh, I've given you sunlight. I've given you rain. Seems like you're not happy. Lest I open a vein, I give you a few drops. Develop peace. No. Well, there you have it. That's today. Since we're a little behind, I've got actually some extra ones. So even though he'll leave on the 29th, we'll have some more vocal performances by him even after that date. Uh, but again, stop by, see the vocal music people. They can introduce you. I think he was even like interviewed by either the Gazette yesterday or something like that. So pretty big deal if, if you didn't know before. Today's events, we've got Girls Varsity Tennis in Action. That'll be here on our courts. We'll be versus Prairie High. Our gentlemen will be going against Prairie High as well, and they'll be at their course. Uh, our ladies' varsity golf meet will be taking place at Ellis Golf Course. It's a reschedule from the 18th. Our ladies' varsity team will also be in action versus uh, Xavier this afternoon as well in tennis. Uh, the JV meet will be taking place at Twin Vine, uh, Twin Vines, Twin Pines Golf Course. Uh, we have our gentleman who will be in action versus Xavier as well. That'll be taking place today at four o'clock. And it's a oh, incoming freshman sports info night. Supposed to be taking place from six to seven tonight. Uh, that's almost cut off. Uh, birthdays. We got Vienna Thurn, Sierra Blackhawk, and Braden Becker. So happy birthday to our Warriors today. No staff for uh, no staff birthdays. And our lunch menu is ham and cheese croissants, crispy chicken sandwich, sub sandwich, and chef salad. Take care, Warriors. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, it is always a great day to be a Warrior. See ya.